Hey everybody, Togo My Pits here, and today I'm playing some Advanced Warfare on a map called Terrace. I'm using the ASM-1 Speakeasy, which is um, a little bit OP, but whatever. My aim right now is total crap. Look at that. Oh my god. Anyway, um, yeah, today I'm playing a free for all, and um. I got hit with the lag pretty hard. Nowadays, it's pretty much all I deal with on Call of Duty is is, is lag issues, and that I think has to do a lot with uh, the skill-based matchmaking. Because um, I'm finding lobbies that aren't full, and I'm finding uh, games that are extremely hard to connect to. Um, so yeah, that that begs the question on this up upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, will there be skill-based matchmaking? And um, Treyarch has has said that uh, basically no. They said it'll be similar to Black Ops 2 matchmaking, um, which didn't uh, consider skill as much. Um, it was more worried about connectivity, which I think is great. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to that because at this point, um, it's pretty much impossible to find a solid game. And um, when you do find a solid game, it doesn't last for very long because, uh, you know, game after people leave and, and new people join and host switches and, you know, ends up being a laggy mess all over again. And and as of right now in this video, you can't really tell all that much, but um, eventually it does get pretty bad. And with a game like this, um, where it's it's the time to kill is super, super uh, low, you just, you kind of need to have good connection. Um, and especially with the games with like 3D movement, such as this, the jumping mechanic. If you're lagging and you try to do your fucking super jump thing, you get sucked back down to the ground. And it happens to me a shit ton in this game. Um, and it makes it really, really hard to get around, and it makes it really easy to get killed. And it's just a whole lot of not fun. Um, so yeah, the the integrity of, of Black Ops 3, in my opinion, kind of lies on on the connectivity um, because even with a game like Advanced Warfare where I, I when I first got it I had a shit ton of fun it was different, it was fun, I liked it, fast paced, it was cool a lot of people don't like it but I don't know, I had fun with it but in recent days where it's become a laggy mess it's just really hard to, to play and have fun with it's it's super hard to um, I don't know to enjoy getting fucked over and over because your XO isn't working right or whatever and um, it's obnoxious it um, you really feel at a disadvantage um, and I'm wanting to get really into the next Call of Duty um, big time. I, I, I really want another first person shooter that I can really get lost in. And um, there hasn't been one of those in a long while. So I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that that track pulls through. Um, and we'll see with the beta. The, the pre-orders for the beta of Black Ops 3 has been just outstanding. Like the the total amount of pre-orders so far uh, compared to other Call of Duties is just so far ahead and and I think it has to do with the fact that you get beta access um, and so we'll see when the beta comes out how how that works because uh, it, it's gonna be pretty heavy on the servers but uh, hopefully Treyarch is able to, to pull it together and, and and prepare appropriately and they should be able to see by the numbers how many people are going to be on and and there shouldn't be any surprises so hopefully we'll see um, if it'll do well and I hope it does 
and I hope I hope people love it, and I hope that we get another good Call of Duty experience that that stays around for a year while the next one comes out, because um, Advanced Warfare is not currently the most alive thing in the world, and you know we are in need of another uh, first-person shooter. So uh, I'm out of time. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to go.